be thankful for this truth. I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakwadash, the bondage of our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and will well. <clears throat> Another shalom, all the sincere Akim, sweat the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Another shalom, all the sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, not just hearers of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children, the hopeful elect. Shalom. And, um, you know this this uh, lesson is inspired by uh, another family member. Um, I can go too deep in detail <clears throat> with it, but um, you know this family member had, had caught some very harsh, harsh, severe judgment, and um, you know it just made me very thankful to have this knowledge, to have this wisdom and understanding. Of the Bible because those that don't have it <clears throat> as the scripture is going to say is uh, is miserable all right so let's start at wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9 um, Lord one of this lesson is edifying <clears throat> says they that put their trust in him trust in who Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that's what the word ignorantly and willingly calls God and Jesus Christ. That's their names in the ancient Hebrew. All right. Nalashuan Kodash. Okay. The Hebrew tongue. Yahweh. He is. He is this. Yahweh Shai. He is deliverer or savior of his people. Okay. So it says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, which is this wisdom. And such as be faithful and love shall abide with him. Love is keeping the commandments when you read the scriptures. First John, I believe that's uh, uh, five and three. I believe it's five and three. This, this is uh, get it real fast and make sure. Yep, for this is love that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So that's what love is according to the Bible. First John five and three. So going back to wisdom of Solomon 3 and 8. <clears throat> Slack at 3 and 9. It says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be as faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, the saints or the Israelites, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, and the elect on this side. Okay, so grace, that time period to get right with the Heavenly Father, and mercy is to his saints, Psalms 148 and 14, and he shall have cared for his elect. So that's what the Lord cares about. <clears throat> and if he has opened your mind up to this truth, there's a possibility you have a chance of being the elect to be saved, to be delivered, to be spared from the judgments and the harsh, perilous times that are coming upon the earth for our people. When you read Matthew 24 and 21. All right, it says, verse 10, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, to their own thoughts. They're going to be punished by the God of the Bible because the Bible left a blueprint for us to follow by. He left the guidelines. He left standards, laws, commandments for us to follow. Okay. It says, verse 10, but the ungodly, the ones who are not being righteous, shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteousness and forsaken the Lord. So a lot of judgment is going to befall our people in these last days because they have neglected their righteousness. Okay, which is this, 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 this truth. Ultimately because that we read in the verse up, they didn't put their trust in it. They're putting their trust in the world. We're putting our trust in our firm belief, our confidence in what was written for us through Yahweh by Shemiah Bashai. I want to tell you in Romans, the 15th chapter, the thing was written four times, written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. But the ungodly, they forsaken the Lord. And that's why they're in a pitiful case right now, man. They're catching judgment. They're catching hell. They may not uh, 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 show it on their face, but we know that they are. And a lot of them are showing it on their face. 
their countenance, okay, and how they look, how they present themselves. All right, wisdom of Solomon three and eleven four. Whoso despise of wisdom, those that hate this truth, hate this wisdom, knowledge, or understanding. All right, it says and nurture. This is the true nurturer right here, man. These words. Going back to Romans 15 and 4. The comfort lies within the King James Bible 1611. Properly broke down. All right. Through the men of the Lord. Start with our head apostles and elders of great millstone on down. It says, he is miserable. So those who don't have this truth is miserable. It says, and their hope is vain. Their labors are fruitful and their works unprofitable. You see? So those that despise the words of the Lord, they are miserable and their hope is in vain. And like that family member, man, hey, unless he repents, hey, man, you know, look, it's not going to get any better. It's not going to get better for two thirds of our people, man. Let's get a priest up on that. This is 2nd Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time which we're in. And the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And if you despise the words, you are walking in great pride, man. Because you're letting the Lord know that, look, you got it. You don't need him. Right? You are in misery, my man. For many great miseries shall be done to them, and the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they are walking in great pride. That's what's that's 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 what's headed for our people, man. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans. Miseries are getting before you. You're about to be homeless, the protection from the uh, 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 being evicted is being taken away. Famines are running rampant. You're not seeing the same foods you used to see in the store. Look, I, I, I took my mother uh, to the store and when we looked at the veggie section, the, the fresh fruits, the produce, it was uh, almost every shelf was empty. Almost every shelf was empty and we was looking at each other like, yo, you know, but we know. Well, you know, I know. And she, you know, she knows a little bit too. You know, my, my mother's a believer. You know, at the water, y'all about Shmuel shot for that. So she knows a famine's coming. All right, but these things are going to befall our people. These miseries, because they have walked in great pride. So therefore, if the Lord has opened your mind, your spiritual uh, mind to receive this, man, consider yourself blessed. And hold on to it, man. You know, pray Psalms uh, 51 and 11. Let me probably end off on that. But the Lord don't take his Holy Spirit away, man. This is Matthew 13 and 16 says, But bless are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. All right? So you're favored in the eyes of the Lord if you see what the Lord is saying in these scriptures, if you can hear what the prophets are saying. Consider yourself blessed, man, and don't take it for granted. Because the Lord, if you if you have that spiritual eye to see and to uh, uh, um, understand, look, the Lord shows you what it's like not to have this truth all around you, how people are. All right? And the Lord is taking the ones... The Lord is taking everybody through something, man. But the wicked is being taken through more. The Lord is really handing it to him, man. And I heard some news today about a family member. And I was just, you know, I was like, you know, just. Man, the Lord did that. The Lord did that. The Lord did that. Okay. But, you know, I'm not going to. 
uh, go too much into it, like I said, but, you know, it just made me think, man. Lil can really jack you up out here, man. All right? So just be thankful that you had this truth. Consider yourself blessed, man, and just look. Continue that the Lord keep the spirit on you. Now I'm speaking to myself first and foremost because I'm bringing this lesson up. Psalms 51 and 11, it says, <clears throat> Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Okay? It says, Oh, that was it. Yep. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And that's something that, you know, you should always remind yourself to ask the Lord to make sure you keep his spirit within you to do righteousness, not to be cast away at the two thirds. Because heavy judgment is coming upon two thirds. So, um, and they're living miserable. <laughs> so, Lord, when I was edifying, so next time I say, Shalom.